the boundary throwings. Do your tactics alter much there? Uh, well, like I said before, it all depends on the weather and the wind and uh, if, if you're winning in the ruck. But mainly, I usually stand to the boundary and they knock it to the boundary a little bit towards our goals if we're in the forward line. Uh, if the wind is blowing uh, in towards the ground and we're throwing, the ball's going with the breeze from the boundary, well, it's better to get behind the ruck because the ball comes very high and you can receive it at the back of the pack. If it's quite clear that your ruck is being beaten, what would be your tactics then? Well, the, the first thing uh, you must do then is uh, uh, check the opposition rover because if you're getting beaten, their ruckman must be knocking it to their rover. So the idea is then for you to shark it off them. So the best position, I'd say, to stand is in between their rover and their ruckman. Because if the ball is knocked, it doesn't matter which way it's knocked, at least you're in between. Uh, Barry, how long would you uh, attempt to stay on the ball at any one time? Well, I never stop on there very long at all, Jim. Uh, that is very hard to estimate again. Um, or I'd say a minute and a half, a couple of minutes. Not much longer? No, not much longer at all. Um, are, are you ever conscious of running out of stamina? No, not at all, Jim, no. You'd say you're pretty fit, generally yeah, yeah. speaking. Um, do you, at training, try and develop an understanding with your Rackman? Oh, yes, we talk all the time. Uh, when the ball's thrown in, we try to, you know, talk to one another, uh, make a few plans. If they don't come off, we try something else. But usually all the time, you know, talking around the pack so that uh, he knows where I am and I know where he is, sort of thing. Now, when you go off to rest in a pocket, what's your attitude to your play then? Well, the main thing is you go to the pocket naturally to rest, but then, of course, uh, if you're winning uh, on the day and you're getting a lot of, lot of balls down in your forward line, uh, the main thing is for the pocket men is to keep out and give the full forward a go. And, of course, if the opportunity comes, you lead out naturally and uh, well, you try and kick as many goals as you can or help the full forward as much as you can. So you, generally speaking, try and keep out of his way? Yes. Um, Barry, you mentioned the opposition rover and the need to watch him when the ruck is being beaten, but do you watch him at any other time? N not on only when they're in possession of the ball. Like if the, the opposition have got the ball, then naturally I have to pick up their rover, but if, it's, uh, if we've got the ball, he's got to look after me. Now, consistent with your lack of height and size, do you find yourself um, the target for very much attention from the opposition? No, not really, Jim. Uh, well, I've been here for... This is my fourth season now, and uh, I've never had any strife in that way at all. Not as yet. Uh, but are you conscious of protecting yourself, of getting out of the way if necessary? No, not really, no. Um, and uh, the final thought, I notice you're wearing a Carlton Guernsey. Uh, does this indicate that your future might lie in Victoria? Well, it could do, but at this stage uh, I'm pretty uh, satisfied here, and uh, I'd like to stay in Western Australia for quite some years, but... Uh, if the opportunity does arise again, I think I'll be on my way.